Welcome back to the show. Thank you very much. Thank you. I am very excited to announce our first guest tonight. He is a great comedian, a wonderful actor, and I'm proud to call him one of my good friends. Please welcome Jeff Applebaum. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Hello. Hey, Sandy. How are you? Good. How are you? Go. Thank you, and thank you for being our very first guest. I'm honored. Hey, thank you. Doesn't he look good? Doesn't oh, he look good? Stop, 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 stop. Jeff stop. is always, always so professional and put together. I've never seen, I don't know if I've ever seen you in a pair of jeans, ever. Uh, do you own jeans? I do, and I do wear them on stage. You're very kind because uh, I don't feel that way. It's always, at least if, if perception is reality, then we're okay. <laughs> and it's my, my son tells me how to dress now, so I don't have a choice. I thought that was the wife's job. No, no, it's really the son, and he says, uh, he, I have a pair of shorts, and he goes, Dad, don't ever wear those again. I'm like, why? They've, they've been fine for 15 years. He goes, they're too short. I'm like, so I had to go in here. So I take him now with me to pick out my wardrobe. Oh, hey, whatever. Some you have kids, you understand. Whatever works. I know, now you have a son who's 11, right? Son who's 11, 11 and a half, yes. Okay, and another? Another son who's almost two. And then we have another baby coming. Wow! At, uh, at the end of the year, you're so gonna have a lot of basically wardrobe critics. Dirty in your diapers, house. exactly. <laughs> exactly. A lot of dirty. This is a girl though this time, so. Then, oh, uh, I know. Even better. Exactly. Even so, better. I mean, who knows? Who knows? You never know. One of my favorite things I ever saw Jeff in was the tribute. I love Jeff plays uh, Joey Bishop. Sammy, Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> and um, I'm a little too tall. You're right. Yeah, so, I think uh, it was the the height that was like throwing it off. <laughs> but you did such a good. Now you're still doing that, right? I am. Okay. That's now we actually have a graphic to show about you. Oh. Um, there's, see if you can see the tribute. There he is. And I'm the guy. I'm the tall one. Because, He's the tall uh, one. In San Francisco is where I've seen you, I but you do it Francisco all over the place, and, right? And I've done it in Vegas and in Chicago, and I just got back from Manchester, New Hampshire. We loved the Rat Pack there, <laughs> and the Red Sox in the playoffs. So it was really, it was really great to and be there. And Vegas, there. right? And Vegas. What am I saying? Of He's course, all over Las the place. Vegas, this yeah. guy. That's I'm right. so excited. So yeah, definitely catch JeffAppleBaum.com. That is the website. So we'll make sure to keep right. checking that because he always posts when you're going to be performing. It's Apple B A U M is in Mary. So you know, how do you spell that? B O M B V U M. I've gotten all sorts of names. Not in bomb as in da bomb, but That's right. you know, <laughs> different kind or of bomb. Or as in bomb as in go to the airport. No, <laughs> no, yeah. bad one. Those are both bad bombs. They don't work. So <laughs> I've known Jeff. Of course, we met uh, doing stand-up comedy. Yes, we did. And uh, Jeff, you were just on Craig Ferguson. Yes, I was. That was fabulous. How was that? It was a wonderful experience. Craig is a, is a great guy and, and uh, very fun, very relatable, very charismatic. And, and it was a real thrill to be on that show and, and their staff and everybody. You, you, you get there and, and you say, I want to be on national TV. And then you go, I want to be on national TV. And you go, you don't want to screw it up. And, you get and nervous. Yeah. get nervous. But it was, it was really wonderful. I had some friends in the audience and they were very supportive. And Wasn't it, one of the producers from the show? How did you actually... What, you had a yeah, gig, right? I, I paid somebody off, and no, okay, here's what happened. <laughs> so, I was speaking at an event in Southern California, and at the end of the show, a gentleman came up to me. He said, "I'm the I'm the stage manager of the Craig Ferguson show. Uh, can you get me a demo tape?" And I said, "Here." <laughs> no, yeah, I said, uh, "Jeff has them all in his said, trench coat." I said, "What else you need? Let's go out to the parking lot. What else you need? I got you some. I got some watches too." But the uh, and then I got them a tape, and they said, "We think you're funny." I go, "There's a first for everything." <laughs> and um, and then we we got a four and a half minute set together and along the guidelines and then lo and behold then it worked out. Oh, I'm so proud of him. And here's a Thank little you. clip of Jeff from that show, so you can see what we're talking about. He's he's awesome. You'll love it. And to make money as kids in New York, we used to rake leaves, mow lawns, shovel snow. I tried mowing lawns in San Jose. Some guy named Pepe threatened me <laughs> for invading his territory. <laughs> it was my lawn. <laughs> I grew up as a Jewish kid in an all-black neighborhood in New York. And as the only white kid in the Little League, my mother would sit in the stands with all the black parents who'd ask, which one's your boy? <laughs> yeah, he's the one selling chiclets at full retail. <laughs> no, rapper 50 Cent did a show in San Jose recently, or as he's known up in Canada, 15 Cent. <laughs> all down with the conversion humor. <laughs> Last night somebody goes, excuse me, with the condition of the economy, shouldn't that be 45 cent? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Who the hell are you, Alan Greenspan? 
And it was. <laughs> He's talking again. Oh, I just celebrated my 12th wedding anniversary. Yes, no. No, that, no that, that puts me in the upper fifth percentile in California. That's right. And I love my wife very much, but she is the only Chinese woman that does not cook. We have so much food delivered, the pizza guy has a fridge magnet with my number on it. That was awesome. Very proud of you for that. Thank you. Thank you. It's always cool when, you know, we have a bunch of comedians, we're all friends, and when one of our friends gets to the next level, we're always so proud of him. So when we saw that, we were like, oh, Jeff is making it. Look at him go. Uh, well, thank you, Sandy. It's, and, it's, oh, he's an actor as well. Way. Actor, you do actor, you do everything. Uh, I attempt to act. And uh, yeah, I had a chance to be in that movie, The Pursuit of Happiness, which was really great. Yeah, thank you. Thank very you. cool, very thank cool. You. And if, uh, you know, if you had dirt in your eye, you coughed, you may have missed me. So yeah. <laughs> matter, matter of fact, my credit was on the screen longer than I was. <laughs> it's like, hey, there That's he right. is. And then it was like, hey, he, <laughs> he was there. Yeah, that's I, I actually I played in the movie I played uh, Dean Witter employee number one. Okay. Because uh, man in man in the elevator was already taken. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> and, and actually uh, in the spring I'll be working on a movie with Mel Gibson. For reals? I'll be playing Jew number two. Oh, good. <laughs> that was probably a long casting actually, call. Actually, was yeah. <laughs> I think Mel just thought I'd be good for a, a California Highway Patrolman. But, you know, I don't know. I love it. I know. And Jeff is so into acting. I and you, what are, now, what is your, he's obsessed, not obsessed, but you love Jackie what? Chan. I, well, yeah, I love Jackie Chan. He's a great, just act, he's funny. He's, he, his movies, his stunts, great stuff. I love his work ethic. And, and I've, I've had a chance to meet him several times. And, and I told him whenever he's ready to make Shanghai Jews, I'm good to go. And, um, or, you know, Chris Tucker, him and me, I think it'd be great. Absolutely, think, uh, you've got pictures with him and everything. I have pictures with him, and uh, Photoshop is a good is a good thing. It's a handy tool. <laughs> hey, when I need cleavage, it's there for me. <laughs> so, uh, right, give me a few more years, I'll have it myself. <laughs> so. I'm eating too much. All right, so. Well, you have a beautiful family as well. I love your you. wife is just she's the sweetest woman, and your son, your son, I can't believe he's 11 now. He's yes. growing up so fast. Yeah. And uh, here's a picture of Jeff and his son, so you know what I'm talking about. Look at how look at how good they look. Yeah. Thank Isn't you. Isn't that adorable? Thank you. That's Very his oldest son, Josh. And he's actually done some stand-up as well. He's done some stand-up. We have a show coming up, as a matter of fact, at the end of the week. But, but he, he's just a naturally funny kid. And uh, I just love being around him. And, and we get to do things together. And then when I went like to... Like shop? Shop. I don't want to go there. No. <laughs> no. no when, I, when I went to Chicago, he came with me for a week. And we spent the time together as, as a father and son. And just and he's funny. We do comedy together. He, I mean, to me, he's the most beautiful kid, of course, because... I'm biased. Now I've become my mother right before your eyes here. <laughs> but uh, it's really great to act and watch him to get up on stage at this age. As you know, public speaking is the greatest fear for a lot of people, let alone comedy. And now he's up there now, and, and he comes home. This kid's 11. He started a new school. He comes home, you know, last month in the new school. I go, how'd your first day go? He comes here. Attitude first. He hands me a piece of paper with a girl's name, phone number, and email. I'm like, I was kind of proud, concerned, and jealous all at the same time. <laughs> now he wants a cell phone. And I'm like, what do you want a cell phone for? Well, you know, I got, I got these friends that want to call me. And I go, just give them, give them mom's cell phone. I can't give my mom's cell phone number. I'm like, <laughs> you know, we, we, the girls would call us when we were 20. And uh, you know, I'd have to call back secretly, you know. <laughs> and then my brother would be listening on the other end. Now he needs a cell phone. So. No. Does he have a cell phone now no, yet? No, not yet. Not yet. But, uh, what I is the age you'll give him a cell phone? Probably very soon because he's very persistent. Mm. And it's like, hey, come on, Dad. Safety reasons, you know. You never know those crazy people. Like, Great salesman. He's working me. I know. He is. And he's like working on my wife, so she works me. And then that, you'll, you'll just try to shut down right away. Yeah. Oh, I don't two people working on me. Even the baby's working on me. Ah, you know, he wants a The unborn too. baby. The unborn baby's working on me. <laughs> kicking. I see kicking coming up. <laughs> give him a cell phone, will you? So... Oh, well, it was so good to have you on our show today. Wonderful. Thank you. This is a great show. You're awesome, and, and I'm so delighted to be part of this, and I know it's going to be a great show. God bless you all. Please visit JeffAppleBaum.com. Leave a message. Come see me live, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.